Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another class, another English class. So I hope you can be all right. Let me see who do we have here. Definitely we have some, some of you that finished the work very well. So here we have Janet. Good evening, Janet. How are you tonight? Good teacher. Everything okay? Really well. Today. Okay, that's perfect. I'd like to hear that. Thank you. Let's listen to Marvin. Hello, Marvin. Good evening. Hey, how is it going? Well, it was a very busy day. Well, for me. What about you? Yeah. Um, okay. I so, so. Oh, yeah, okay. I that, that sounds really good. Thank you, Marvin. Here we have also Gisela. Good evening, Gisela. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Oh, well, I like to hear that. Thank you. So here we have some others like uh, Brenda, Noe, Elia, Adriana, Juan, Cesar, Flor, Fernando, Julissa, Douglas, Mario, and Kevin. So good evening for everyone, everybody. Hello, Flor. How was your day? I just so I mm, tired. I tired. Tired. Yes. Yes. I can imagine that. Um, when you have like tiring days, you feel like down. Te sientes como un poquito cansadito. But remember today. Well, uh, today is Friday. So, do you work tomorrow? Yes. Do you work tomorrow? No. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's really, that's perfect, right? Nice. Yes. Yes, well, Fridays are one of the best days, similar to Saturdays, okay? So nice. Yes. Nice to see you, It's Flor. the best day. Yes. Well, for some some people, because some other work on, on, on Saturday, right? For example, Marvin, what about you? Do you work on Saturday? Yes, okay, nice. What about Gisela? Do you work on Saturday? Okay, thank you. And well, there are some people who work on Saturdays and some other who works on Sundays even. So, well, but before we start, let's check some of the other participants. Hello, Julissa. I know that some of you, some of you are moving from your job. You are like traveling and some of you are maybe in traffic jam. And I know traffic in El Salvador is getting worse every day. Well, but let's see, uh, let's wait for some others. And here we have the topic of tonight. But before we start, I want to hear some of your opinions. For example, and Flor, can you hear me well? ¿Me escucha bien, Flor? ¿O me escucha suave? ¿O no, normal? se escucha bien, teacher. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you. Very nice. And here we have here um, how to use ing forms after prepositions. Okay, we already know that ing is used uh, for verbs, okay? Mainly for action verbs. Uh, okay, let's, uh, another question. Gisela, una pregunta. ¿Se escucha, la ¿Se escucha como música de fondo? Tengo un vecino que es un poquito fiestero. Uh -huh. No, se escucha nada. Oh, that's no. perfect. Okay. Bien, porque sí, a veces me pongo a bailar, pero, okay, you relax. Yeah, sometimes we have some difficulties. I guess we all have had at least one difficult neighbor. Creo que todos, al menos una vez en la vida, hemos tenido un vecino un poco difícil. Or it's like, well, neighbors, sometimes neighbors are really nice people, but some other times the neighbors are like very strange. But, well, let's continue. Uh, Juan, good evening. How are you doing tonight? Fine, teacher. Fine. Okay, very nice. Hey, Juan, do you work tomorrow, Saturday? No. Yes or no? Oh, wow. That's really good. Yes, I yeah, know. Good. Imagine I spent like 11 years working from Monday to Saturday. And when I finished working on Saturday, I felt a very, very big difference. 
because uh, having rest on Saturday is the best that you can do. But of course, if you work on Saturday, maybe you can have more money. So well, depends on your interests. Okay, yes. so, okay, let's continue. How to use ING forms after prepositions. So this is the class number two. And uh, here we have mission and vision of your workplace, but we, you, we are going to stay work with this later. Okay, vocabulary. Ways to say, make or do, okay? Sometimes uh, we have like differences and, and we have some confusions because make means hacer, do means hacer. Both of them um, have the same meaning, but uh, the application or the use, it's quite different. For example, we make a phone call, okay? Can you notice in here? We make a phone call, but we do the dishes. We make a decision. It is not take a decision. Uh, it is common that we use phrases in Spanish and we try to translate or to apply to English. In our logical, it makes sense. ¿Verdad? Como que hace, hace sentido eso. Pero en inglés es really different. So in this case, make a decision. Maybe we can think, take a decision, but it's not make a decision. Do the laundry, laundry, make a mistake. We always make mistakes in different uh, stages in our life, especially in our, well, adolescence, maybe. Cuando estamos, somos adolescentes, cometemos muchos errores, a lot of mistakes. So we make mistakes and do a favor. It is not make a favor, do a favor. Then here we have, make a promise, do your best, make dinner, okay, prepare, make dinner, and do nothing, hacer nada. So here we have like different examples. It is quite, um, what? It is quite complicated because do means for the things that we do by using our hands. But we have some exceptions because dinner, it's like cooking, okay? Dinner is cooking. We prepare it with our hands. So it is like, okay, do is for all the things that we do with our hands. We prepare with our hands. But we have uh, here an exception. So make a phone call, uh, a decision, a mistake, a promise dinner and here we have do the dishes the laundry a favor uh, do your best for example when you go to an exam you can say do your best okay or do nothing that is something really really good especially when we don't have a lot of things to do okay so do nothing so i'm going to call one by one and you please tell me hi present, good evening, and then pronounce one of these, even make a call, uh, make a phone call, make a decision, make a mistake, or do the dishes, do the laundry, whatever you want to say, okay? We're going to start in this case, okay? So prepare if you want to, to practice before, that's better for you. Just give me a second. Okay, my dear friends, we're going to start with Abel Edenilson. Abel, hello. hello. Okay, what's your phrase? Hello. The, the picture. Okay, uh, yes, from the picture, take one mm -hmm. of this and pronounce it. In decision. Okay, uh, make a decision. Thank you, Alexandra mm -hmm. Michel. Are you there? Okay, let's continue with Brenda Lisette. Hi. 
Not Brenda, okay. Uh, Cesar Ernesto, Bonilla. Hey, teacher. Good night. Okay. Hello. Good evening, Cesar. Okay. What's your face? Select one. It's very tight. <laughs> okay. And thank you, Douglas. Douglas Humberto. No. Okay. Elia Janira Canizales. May. Thank yes. you, Douglas. Yes, sir. Yes. Make a phone call. Oh, wow. That's good. Make a phone call. Thank you. Elia Janira. Present. Thank you. Okay. Select one of these prices. Uh, dinner. Thank you. Mm, make dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Make dinner. And let's continue with Fatima del Carmen. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening Fatima. Oh, good. Thank you. And here we have Fernando Josué. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, Fernando. Which one? Make a phone call. Oh, that's really good. Thank you. Uh, Flor de Maria. Present. Do you do your best? Do your best. <clears throat> yeah, that's really good phrase. Maybe to wish luck. Más que todo para desear suerte también. Gisela Beatriz. Hello there. Hello. Make a decision. Thank you very much. Jose Mauricio Rivas. No. Okay, Juan Cristóbal Alemán. Yes, teacher. Do a favor. Okay, do a favor. Really good. And Julissa Yamilet. Present. Uh, make a phone call. Thank you. Carla Daniela. Make a mistake. Okay, nice. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes. Okay, no Laura. What about Marvin Edenilson? Arias. I'm here. Hello, Marvin. Hello. Okay. And what about Mirna Janet Angel? Present teacher. Hello, Janet. Okay, select one of these phrases. Make a decision. A oh, decision. Good. Thank you. Odalis de Maria Rivera. We don't have Odalis. Okay. What about Oscar Armando Santos? Present teacher. Okay, Oscar. Um, uh, do make do dinner. Okay, make dinner. Okay, thank you. Ah, Rosa, make dinner. Oh. Yes, make dinner. Rosa del Carmen Castro. Okay, we don't have Rosa. So Kevin Ramiro Vasquez. Present show. Okay, Kevin. What phrase? My my dinner. Ah, make dinner. Okay, thank you. Liliana make Alejandra. Dinner. Yes. Okay, Liliana. No. Okay, Mario Eduardo. Present teacher. Hello, what's your phrase? Make a promise. Make a promise, yes. Very nice. Thank you, Mario. Noé Vladimir. Present teacher. Hello, Noé. Okay, what's your phrase? Do the laundry. Do the laundry, thank you. And Adriana Raquel. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Make a decision. Make a decision. Thank you. Very nice. Okay. Um, just to... Okay. Here we have now... We have like a clearer this idea. We have the mission or vision of your workplace. Remember on Wednesday, we were talking about the mission or the vision that we supposed uh, to have about any company la que en teoría teníamos, ¿verdad? Una misión o visión. And as I told you on Wednesday, it was like very 
acceptable if you wanted to invent it. Si la quieres inventar. But in this case, I know that you're going to tell either the mission or the vision about the workplace. Acerca de la compañía, ¿verdad? Me dicen la misión o la visión, la que ustedes quieran, ¿ok? We're going to do it in a moment, right? Okay, now here we have this. Um, here we have a conversation between two uh, people, Mario and Teresa. I'm going to give you like 10 seconds, take a look at this, and then you tell me the phrases or words that you remember from this conversation. Después me dicen que recuerdan de esta conversación, okay? Les doy un par de segundos. Okay, here we have some words that are particular or maybe uh, are like interesting for us. And uh, what about Elia? Okay, Elia, tell me one of one word or phrase that you remember from this conversation, or maybe a, a very, an interesting phrase for you. I did you receive? Okay. Letter. Okay, did you receive? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, a newsletter. Mm -hmm. Una palabra nueva. Thank you. What about Noé? A word or phrase that calls your attention? Uh, what do you mean? Okay, good. Thank you. What about in this case, uh, Fernando? Any interesting word or phrase for you? Yeah, next later. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Good one. Uh, Oscar, you go. And then we go with Mario. Um, innovation in the company. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mario and then Abel. Core values. Good. Very nice. And Abel and then we go with Juan. The, the efficiency. Efficiency, very nice pronunciation, thank you. Okay, let's listen to Juan. Okay, teacher. Innovation, efficiency, and respect. Okay, innovation, efficiency, and efficiency respect. Efficiency okay. and respect. Yes, really good, thank you. Now okay. let's check this. Uh, did you receive a newsletter? Newsletter is como un boletín, a veces puede ser como un memorandum. Es un... Eh, in, ¿qué? Un boletín, ¿verdad? Una carta informativa. Okay. Eh, it is normally that, well, now we have like mails, mails or messages in WhatsApp, right? But uh, here we have, did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? Core values eh, significan los, eh, it's like fundamental values. Es como valores fundamentales de la empresa. It is very common or it is uh, usual that we are working in a company and we don't know the fundamentals or we don't know the objectives, the mission or vision of the company. But we are doing our job very well. But we don't know part of the very basic information of the company. So that's why in this conversation, here we, we can see core values, que son los valores fundamentales de la empresa, okay? Uh, did you receive a newsletter about the core values on, of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies, okay? En este caso, si estoy subrayando algunas palabras que considero, I consider that we have to reinforce. For example, it is not remember, it's remember, remember. Okay, and newsletter and receive. I know some of you 
you guys have a very nice pronunciation and I can see that some of you are kind of advanced, but remember that there are some words or there are, there are like different phrases or vocabulary that we need to improve. Necesitamos mejorar y para mejorar es importante los detalles, ¿ok? So it is different to say remember, remember, than to say remember. Mm -hmm. So that's the point. Why, uh, what do you mean? ¿A qué te refieres? ¿Qué quieres decir? What do you mean? I mean, quiero decir, o me refiero a, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect. No respect, respect. Efficiency. Should, no es should. En este caso, sé que ustedes ya, ya, some of you know this vocabulary, but the pronunciation is should, okay? Show, should, should, okay? Should be part of our customer service, customer service, okay? I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them exactly. We should leave the values that make us different from other companies. So basically, he, we are talking about like a very, well, a situation that happens. It's very common. Situaciones que son comunes en todas las empresas. Most of the companies have core values, but the employees don't apply them. Los empleados o nosotros a veces no, apli no las aplicamos, but there are. There are rules, there are core values, but it depends on us, ¿ok? ¿Recibís el boletín acerca de los valores fundamentales de la compañía? Sí, le dice, es una gran idea recordar por qué somos diferentes de otras compañías. ¿A qué te refieres? What do you mean? ¿Qué quieres decir? I mean, quiero decir, si sí conocemos o sabemos la innovación, eficiencia y el respeto. Debería ser parte de nuestro servicio al cliente. Customer service. I see your point. Veo tu punto. O como decimos, ya te caí. We know about the values of the company. Sabemos sobre la valor de la compañía, pero quizás, quizás, maybe, no los aplicamos. Este quizás es un, definitivamente no los aplica. Exactly, exactamente. We should leave the values. Deberíamos vivir los valores que nos hacen diferentes de otras compañías, ¿ok? So, in this case, uh, I'm going to repeat uh, some of these words and I, then I'm going to ask you, uh, to some of you, to pronounce it. Receive. Receive. Newsletter. Newsletter. Core values. Remember. Mean. Efficiency. Respect, should, about, us. Okay, Fatima, uh, please pronounce one of these. Select one of these uh, words and then we go with Janet. Okay, Fatima. Hello, teacher. Eh, vamos a practicar la conversación. Ahorita, cualquiera de las que he subrayado, pronúnciala. Mm -hmm. okay. select, select one. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you. Janet. No, no. Solo selecciona una. Select one. Mm -hmm. One. Okay, teacher. Remember. Thank you, Janet. And then we go with Elia. New new letter. Newsletter. Mm -hmm. Newsletter. 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 Rara esa, ¿verdad? Ajá, newsletter. Okay. Thank you. Newsletter. Very nice. Elia and then Abel. Ok, mm -hmm. Elia. Hola. Ahorita. Um, the core values. Ok, core values. Very nice. Core Abel, values. and then we go with Laura. Um, remember. Good one. Laura, and then we go with Cesar. About. Okay, about. Very nice. And Cesar, what about you? Receive. Okay, very nice. Receive. Good. 
Okay, I will need, let me see here. A ver si me ayudan compartiendo esta imagen. La vez pasada fue JC, JC. Me, Juan Cristóbal creo que fue a ver si me puede apoyar enviando esta imagen al grupo de Whatsapp and we're going to practice a little bit about this conversation ok ahorita teacher. thank you Juan thank you Okay, what we're going to do is the next. You're going to practice, but the way you're going to practice is this. Imagínense que está Janet y Elia en, conversando, practicando. Entonces, por ejemplo, Janet va a ser Mario. Y Elia elige ser Teresa. Then you have to switch. Switch es intercambiar. Cuando terminen una vez, la siguiente vez que van a practicar, Elia va a ser Mario y Janet va a ser Teresa. Okay? So, in case I, say, I can select anybody, to pronounce it, no me va a decir, hey teacher, pero esa parte no la pronuncié, no la practiqué, ok, so practice two or three times if you wish, ok, so we're going to check this conversation, mientras Juan eh, ya nos la envía en un momento, vamos con receive newsletter core values, remember, gracias Juan, thank you, mean, what do you mean, ese es como, ¿Qué quieres decir? ¿Y eso? ¿A qué te referís? Eso significa, what do you mean? Efficiency. Efficiency. Respect. Should. Aquí está, ¿verdad? Should. Our. About. Us. Ok. So, uh, see you in a moment. We're going to practice like what? Like three, four minutes. Ok. And let me check this, okay? Eh, voy a necesitar que acepten la solicitud que les voy a enviar. I'm going to send in this moment, okay? See you in a moment.
recorded. Values. Okay, let's see what do we have here in this case. Core values. Fatima está bien activada, me llega. Fatima está practicando. I like it. I like that attitude. But before we go to the conversation, here we have this. Okay. Muy bien. Pregunta nuevamente. Juan. Este es mi vecino, creo que está bastante despechado ahora. Algo. Escucha la música. Es Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Believe it. Es viernes. Y si no hay el reggaetón, teacher. I, I know it's Friday. De hecho, yo debería estar con la música. And the body knows. <laughs> yeah. Nobody the, body, knows. the body knows. Espérense que después de la clase tiene que haber el, el after class. So, you can have time to, to distract me yourself. Ah, no, me mentira. Ah, vaya, pues vaya. Hey, este grupo lo veo muy inquieto. Okay. Let's see what do we have here. Carla, please help me. Uh, could you be Teresa? Teresa? And then we're going to have here Mario. And as Mario, we're going to have Noe. Okay? Can you help me? Reading? Okay. Show time. Uh, we start with Mario. Noe, mm -hmm. did you receive? <laughs> okay. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> Again, Noe. Ah, ok, ok, vamos con Mario en, en Noé, ¿verdad? Y después Carla con... Ya le voy a seleccionar a alguien, ok. Please, Mario, yes. en Noé. Ok. Ok, the... do you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean... We know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should leave the values that make us different from other companies. Thank you. Very good pronunciation. Nice. Now Thank we're you. going to have Carla. Eh, Carla, estuviste solita, ¿verdad? Con tu soledad. Yes, yeah, I was practicing alone. Oh, okay. Again. Practicing. She says practicing. Ok. Again. Vaya y todavía. Ok, Carla. Select one. Selecciona a alguien para que sea tu compañero de fórmula o compañera. Quien tenga rostro uh, angelical. No. I don't know. Vamos a ver. Mm, un poco de I, I know. Flor. Ah, vaya. Pobre Juancito, quería que lo seleccionara por su cara. En serio. Ah, no lo vi. Siento, Juan, así son, así son, sufre. Sí, okay. están avisados. <ríe> Carla en flor. Ok, Carla, could you be what? Who? Mario. En flor, oh. Ter Teresa. Please, action. Okay. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great, a great, ide a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should leave that values that make us different from other companies. Okay, really nice. Uh, let me see. There are some interesting words in here. For example, uh, mean, idea, idea. Y estas son de las palabras. There are some words that similar in writing in Spanish to Spanish. Then apply. Okay, what we're going to do now is this. Necesito que avancemos en... En esto. Please, please read in advance. Lean con anticipación su misión o visión. No en esta vida, en la tierra. No, de, de la compañía para la que trabajan. No les digo su compañía porque dice Juan, that's not my company. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have a lot of money. Tendría mucho pisto, but no. Okay, so please read it and try to do it like fluently. Traten de hacerlo un poquito más fluido. I know that, that you have a very good level of English. 
but uh, le you can read it. Pueden leerlo, no problem. If you have some difficulties with some words, please try to uh, Google them so you can have a better idea how to pronounce it, okay? We're going to start in this case with Adriana and then Noé. Okay, Adriana, are you ready? Oh, okay, let's Noe, let's listen to Noe and then Mario. Miss mission or vision, whatever you want to say, cualquiera. Okay. Uh, mission, please. Uh, we are business group with faith in good about all the things. Together with a world team committed to the values and objective of the group. We manage to be leaders in the market and in the permanent search for efficiency in the use of resource, maintaining good profitability with diversity, okay. investments with the ability to identify and develop new business models. Okay, really good, thank you. Very nice. Let's listen to Mario and then Liliana. Okay, then teacher. Hmm? I read the vision. Okay, please. To be a business group that is sustainable over time, where its shareholders famously seek grow through new business, market, and investment, being leaders in everything that is undertaken and incorporating the new generation so that the heritage remains consolidated. Mm -hmm. Okay, Consol consolidate, very nice, very interesting. And Kevin, well, Liliana, but if Liliana is not there, let's listen to Kevin and then Oscar. Kevin, are you ready? Well, if Kevin is not ready, let's listen to Oscar. Okay, if Oscar is not ready, Odalis, no, Mirna. Maybe there are Mirna, okay. Marvin, definitely Marvin is there, right? Oh. Hello. Hello, Marvin, ready to read your vision or Mission? Yes, sure. Good. The mission is to deliver to our customer the best quality products that excite regional standards. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, let's listen now to Carla and then Julissa. Carla, you listen. <laughs> okay, Carla. I have to be honest with you. I forgot it. I didn't ask for it. Really? Come on. Can I say? Uh, how honest you are. Yeah. Well, Can I say the, the one that invented? Okay, uh, because you class? are a businesswoman. Okay. <laughs> Thank Do you. it. Here I'm going to read the mission. Please. <laughs> to provide the best fabrics to the customers Fulfilling all their expectations, preaching. Okay. Fulfilling. You are ready to have your own company, Carla. Definitely. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, look, Julissa. No, Carla, Julissa, just Julissa. Okay, Julie. Hi there. If Julissa is not there, okay, let's move to Juan Cristobal. Uh, yes, teacher. Mm -hmm, please. Mission to innovate in technology for better customer service. Mm -hmm. Better customer service. Really nice. Very concrete. Thank you. Yes. Okay. okay. Jose Mauricio, not right. Gisela. And then we go with Flor. 
Uh, okay, uh, mission sería uh, transport. Uh, yo busqué esta palabra, pero me dice cargo, carga. O sea, pero me refiero Load. a. Loading. Uh -huh. eh, pero carga me refiero en, en un transporte. Uh -huh. eh, así sería, cargo. Ok, no, because charge sí. es cargo de cargo de, 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 de empleado, ¿verdad? Sería loading, loading, transport, loading, sí. o loading, okay. transport. O sea, or shipment, transport. también puede ser shipment, que son envíos, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Transport shipment for the clients with a different supply using the appropriate logistics, equipment, and tools with safety and customer service of the main focus, complying at all times with our values, honesty, order, responsibility, and respect. Okay, thank you. Really good. A lot of things. Flor and then Fernando. Uh, the vision of my workplace is to develop a city surrounded by culture that they contribute possibility to economic development. Okay, thank you very much. Fernando and Fatima. The mission of the company is to yes. improve the customer service. Mm -hmm. Very clear, right? Very specific. Thank you. Um, Fatima and then Elia. Mission is the company's corporate that offer quality financial service. Thank you. Really good. Elia and then Douglas. Vision. Reach for 45 of sales in this area. Uh, Provision, accessibility, and comfort our customer. Thank you. Very nice. Good. Douglas and Cesar. Are you there, Douglas? Pro provide quality maintenance aircraft. Okay. Good. Aircraft. Uh, Cesar and then Brenda. Uh, mission. We are a team committed to offering integrate and innovate solution with quality production and the best service to the preference of our clients. Thank Being you. socially responsible. Nice. Thank you very much. Okay, Brenda, are you there? And then we go with uh, Mirna and then Oscar. Okay, me lo pasé por alto. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, uh, Mirna, are you ready? Mission. Please. Mission of the my my workplace is make the partners on time as the friend needs according to their specification. Mm -hmm. Really good, thank you. And Oscar, please. And then okay, Kelly. teacher. Mission and my the company is to be a leader in logistic and service the supply chain of international trade. Yes, interesting. Okay, if Kevin is not ready, I don't know, Kevin, let's listen to Abel. Okay, Abel, you okay. go, my friend. The mission of the company is provide the population with the latest in the fashion with an optimum quality in our texture. Okay, very nice, thank you. And can you see how different are the companies you work in because you have different types of products or service that you provide to customers? So that's one of the reasons. And let's see now that here we have core values. And uh, recuerden los valores fundamentales, core values of the company. We have this conversation. Now here we have two questions. One, what strategy? Podemos decir strategy, but in English, when there is a T between two vowels, cuando tenemos una T entre dos vocales, la T suena como R. Strategy, strategy. Pueden decir strategy también. 
but it is more American to say strategy. What strategy does Teresa and Mario's company use to promote its core values? Okay. Any volunteer to answer this? ¿Qué estrategia utiliza? Eh, Mario, la, 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 la compañía de Teresa y Mario. To promote its core values. If you want to participate, you can um, use the emojis. Okay. Pueden sacar ahí la manita o cualquier emoji. If not, I'm going to select the person. Ahorita voy a seleccionar las personas que yo creo que son tranquilas. Okay. O sea, todos. For example, I'm going to select in this case to Juan. El más tranquilito. Okay. Any idea of this? What strategy does that company use? Let's check the conversation because they are talking about core values, but how did they um, get it? ¿Cómo se dieron cuenta de los core values? Uh, one moment, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Están hablando que recibiste. Did you receive? Sí. Okay. Here we have. Dice de los. Sí, the new newsletter. Mm -hmm. Newsletter. Okay. In your company, Juan, uh, is there a strategy to talk about core values, mission, or vision of the company, or they don't talk about it too much? Mm, no, it's... it's not common, right? Yes. Okay, yes, and that, that is very, yeah, that that's usually happens. Okay, thank you. Yes. Now here, okay. here, okay, thank you. Newsletter, utiliza como el boletín informativo en este caso. In some other companies, they maybe they can use the mail or they can have a workshops, tienen talleres, they have workshops and they talk about core values in some other aspects of the company. But in this case, they use a newsletter. Okay, number two, are Mario and Teresa positively impacted by the company's values? How? Eh, es, fueron como impactados positivamente, Mario y Teresa, por los valores de la compañía. And how? Okay. So I'm going to select in this case to Carla. Okay, Carly. Do you consider that Mario and Teresa were positively impacted when they knew, cuando se dieron cuenta de eso, de los valores y todo eso? Yes, they did. Okay. Uh, por ejemplo, ahí donde dice, it's a great idea to remember mm -hmm. why we are different from other companies. Yes, it's a great idea to remember. It's like, mm -hmm. hey, come on. Uh, this company has good things. Okay, let's promote them. Okay, y it will be good. piensan que los pueden... Eh, recordar más seguido para poderlos usar yes. en otros lugares. It's very yes, it's very common that in the human resources, when we are hired, cuando somos, cuando somos contratados, they say, okay, that's your duties, your functions, blah, blah, blah. But eh, most of the companies have like core values that are very interesting and good. But most employees don't apply them. Okay, thank you, Carly. And here we have this. And uh, uh, two of your company's values. Veamos cuántos valores tenemos acá. Efficiency, innovation, respect, punctuality, punch, no punctuality, punch, como el punch de, del golpe, punch, punctuality, service to others, integrity, loyalty, responsibility, responsibility. Okay. Then rank the top five values that we should be part of any company, okay? Tell me one of these values, one or two values that you consider important, okay? Fatima, tell me one or two of these values that you consider important in any company, que podrían ser en cualquier compañía. And then we go with Flor. From this list, or if you want, you can add more. Si quieres puedes agregar más, but Tell me one or two of this. 
innovation. Mm -hmm. And. Oh, just innovation. Okay, innovation is good. Okay, let's listen to Flor and then Oscar. Efficiency. Okay, efficiency. 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 Yes. Punctuality. Yes, okay. If you don't, you don't have punctuality. Responsibility. Hmm? It's like similar. Okay, punctuality, responsibility. Yes, thank you. Okay, Oscar. And after Oscar, we go in this case with um, Gisela. And Palos, the company interest, is responsibility, inter, integrity. Integrity, okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, Gisela, what about you? And then Elia. Um, respect. Okay. Uh, responsibility and service the others. Okay, service mm -hmm. to others. Okay, efficiency, innovation, respect, punctuality, service to others, integrity, loyalty, uh, responsibility. Mm -hmm. I guess uh, most of them are really fundamental in every company. And now here we have this, okay? Complete the sentences below with one of the values from the box, okay? This is the box, okay? So, for example, I apply punctuality when I get to my job on time, okay? So, I'm going to... Copy this and I'm going to put it here. But for we to have this, let me see. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to select in this case to Abel. Okay, Abel, select one of these. Uh, words and apply it and fill the blanks in the, the, the sentence, okay? And okay. after Abel, we go with Marvin. And respect. Okay, respect one number, two, three, four, five, or six. Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Can you read it, please? When, when I, I well, customer to the store, I show respect. I show respect. Okay, thank you. And what about Marvin? And after Marvin, we go with uh, Noé. Marvin, are you ready? You can yeah. say three, four, five, or six. Four. Okay, let's go with. Okay. Can you read it, please? The complete sentence. Okay. I show efficiency when I finish my duties on time. Good one. Yes. So it is like you take a advantage of the time. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's listen in this case to Noé, right? Noé, and after Noé, we go with Cesar. Okay. Uh, number six. Number six. When I offer help to customer, I demonstrate service to others. Okay. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Cesar, are you there? Uh, number five. Number five. Mm -hmm. if, if I suggested a uh, creative solution. Creative. Mm -hmm. creative. Creative solution. Creative solution to... To my, my team. team, I apple apply. Mm -hmm. I apply. apply what? Apply innovation. Yeah, good one. And what about Mario? Can you help us with number three, please, Mario? Teacher. <clears throat> yes, my friend. Number three. The number three is responsibility. Yes. Accept your mistakes and their consequences. Okay, you can say that. Mm -hmm. And even integrity by responsibilities. And it is difficult for us, especially for Salvadorians, 
Salvadorians are very special. Uh, sometimes we don't accept, uh, yeah, when we do bad things, okay. Now, here we have this listening, okay. So in this case, we're going to have uh, listening parts. I uh, suggest you, le sugiero, I suggest, como aparecía aquí esta palabra. Suggest, suggest. I suggest you to have pen or pencil and write, take notes of the words that you can listen, uh, the vocabulary that you can identify or phrases. So after this exercise, I'm going to ask you, después le voy a preguntar, ¿qué palabras se escucharon? ¿Qué entendieron? Okay. So maybe you can, you can be ready for this listening. Just give me a couple of seconds, solo un par de segundos para uh, tenerlo listo. Okay, let's listen. Company values, also called corporate values or core values, are the set of guiding principles and fundamental beliefs that help a group of people function together as a team and work toward a common business goal. These values are often related to business relationships, customer relationships, and company growth. Some examples are integrity, passion, fun, honesty, leadership, teamwork, innovation, quality, commitment, and some others. Okay, listen one more time. Company values, also called corporate values or core values, are the set of guiding principles and fundamental beliefs that help a group of people function together as a team and work toward a common business goal. These values are often related to business relationships customer relationships, and company growth. Some examples are integrity, passion, fun, honesty, leadership, teamwork, innovation, quality, commitment, and some others. Okay, let's listen to some of you. We're going to start with Janet and then Fatima. Okay, tell me words or phrases that you listen, one or two, please. Business code. Mm -hmm. Good, thank you. Fatima and Juan. Company grows. Mm -hmm. Company grows. Juan and Elia. Okay, these values business relationship innovation quality mm -hmm. need algo así okay ya vamos a ver si está inventando Juan Juan es bien creativo he's, he's very oh, creative okay thank you Juan very nice Elia and then Oscar leadership quality honesty okay good one Oscar and then Flor example the values a passion, honesty, innovation, integrity. Okay, thank you. Flor and Carla. A company values, good business code, integrity, honesty, innovation, leadership, customer 
some others. Yes, really good. Thank you. And Carly. Tengo varios. Corporate okay. values, helps function together as a team. Tengo unos ejemplos. Leadership, quality, mm -hmm. passion, nice. honesty, teamwork. Okay, thank you. So as you can see, it was kind of easy uh, audio, right? So company values also called corporate values, okay? Normalmente it's core values, okay? Even right? corporate values. A set of guiding principles or fundamental beliefs. Beliefs is, significa creencias. Pero si nosotros decimos believe, como la canción de Cher, ¿verdad? Believe significa cre creer, okay? Creencias. Okay, eh, business, really important, business. Por eso decimos biznero, cuando alguien es biznero que es negociante, but imagine, it's an, es un anglicismo, but well. Um, yeah, easy peasy, right? Some examples are integrity, passion, fun, honesty, leadership, okay? So uh, it is important that we can understand or identify this. Si ustedes escuchan que alguno de sus compañeros eh, o si yo hablo mmm, que un periodo de tiempo en inglés, escuchan audios y ustedes dicen, ¿qué está diciendo, teacher? Pero eso no lo entendí. Don't focus on the things that you don't understand. Enfóquense en lo que sí entienden, no en lo que no entienden. Cada quien lleva un proceso, ¿ok? Every person has a, his or her own process. Entonces debemos de ver eso. Cada quien tiene su proceso y pues de eso se trata, de seguir aprendiendo. Ok. okay. Yes. Uh, only, uh, I have a question. Yep, please go ahead. What's the meaning, what's the meaning of commitment? Uh, okay, commitment is compromiso. Something that uh, there are people they don't like. Gente que no le gusta el compromiso. Okay. So when you have, yes. Uh -huh. Sorry. Eh, eh, creo que es la última palabra que yo escuché y que yo había entendido diferente. El commitment. Solo hasta el commit, no el escuché el men. Mm, that's it, commitment. Mm -hmm. eh, uh -huh. Como que no sufijo, ¿verdad? Tiene otra, ¿eh? entonces, commitment. Yes, that's it. Ah, Por eso it. dije el commit. Ajá. No, no, dije... no COVID. Ah, no era invento de él. No, ya no. No, ya veo que Juan, Juan se lava las manos. ¿verdad? O sea, no vaya a ser que después. Ok, good Juan, that's nice. Ok, yes, commitment, eh, especialmente. Ya, ahí está, Juan. Sabemos que a los hombres nos gusta el compromiso. We like commitment. So there's no problem with that. Yes, definitely. And here we have honesty. Okay, yes. Uh, integrity. Nos están describiendo nosotros a los hombres. Thank you. And yes, we have, well, innovation. Definitely, it is important for a company. Si una empresa, if there's a company which uh, doesn't have Innovation, mm, that company is going to stuck. Se va a detener, se va a estancar. Yes. Uh, teamwork, yeah, a lot of things that are necessary to grow in a company. Okay. Now here we have this. Okay. And... Faithful. Faltó ahí, teacher. Ah, no, es que esa cabal faithful, fiel. <laughs> Juan. Tenés un punto extra. You have an extra point in there. Yes. Yes, yeah, okay. okay, yes. Y Carla tiene una cara de, what? What are you saying? Okay, let's move with this. Um, what's the name of this song? Abel, no sé si ya estás listo. Yes, teacher. Okay, Abel, me yeah. era. Eficiente, eficiente. Ok, eh, para los que se preguntaban, porque creo que ahí me escribieron en el grupo, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Cómo era la actividad? La actividad consiste en que no todos lo van a hacer al mismo tiempo, sino que uno por uno, one by one, ¿ok? Eh, Abel es para este día. Alexandra le tocaría... Alexa, Alexandra is going to present the part of the song on Monday then Brenda on Tuesday, Cesar on Wednesday, and so on. Así que, pero yo le voy a ir recordando, ¿verdad? Le voy a estar recordando igual cuando mande la speaking activity, ¿ok? Así que, eh, a ver, a ver, nos vas a presentar entonces la imagen, ¿verdad? Ahí, y este, déjame ver. 
Se no quiero ver este detalle porque tú lo puedes. Uh -huh. Se lo veo. Ok. Puedes. Compartir. You can share now. Solo decirle a los demás que no te escriban en este momento. Ok. Don't text me in this uh -huh. moment. Ok. Yes, please. Ahorita no estoy. Eh, Working. Sure. Creo que Abel lo está haciendo ahorita. Uh -huh. En la parte de en medio, ajá, de, 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 de en Zoom, aparece un botoncito verde. Yes. It's a book teacher. Ok, yes. Can you read it, please? ¿Puedes leerlo un poco? Uh -huh. Ok. Carla, Carla se pone así como, what? Okay. It's very sad. Yeah. <laughs> así, así es el amor también. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, I love her. <laughs> okay, my life is brilliant, right? Yes, my love is pure. Mm -hmm. I saw an angel. Of that, I am sure. Good. She smiled at me of the subway. Yes. She was with another man. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. But I won't last no sleep on that cabos. I be go a plane. Okay. I've got a plan. Que romántico mm -hmm. salió este velo. Okay, thank you. Yes. Any idea of this song? The name of this song? Or yes. at least okay. Yeah, Carly, yeah. Marvin chair. knows. Okay. Which one? You're beautiful. Okay. Uh, James, James Blunt. Okay, yes, you're beautiful from James Blunt. Okay, yes, okay. yes, good, thank you. Very nice, okay, easy peasy. En el otro mundo, tiene que cantar el compañero. Eh, 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 Juan, eh, Juan es malo, eh, Juan. estaba como que estuviera ahí enfrente de la dicha. Eh, okay, a ver, eh, take notes Exacto. of these tips. Anota estos tips. Bien, Carla. El secreto del éxito. Así Nosotros es, le vamos a hacer la barra. Okay. Eh. No, se va a poner triste, a ver. I know this is a sad song. Okay. No, ya quiero ver, mira, a ver cuando pasen los demás. Mm. Ya voy a esperar, ahorita voy a esperar a que, a que sea su turno. Okay, my friends, good. Thank you. You're beautiful. It's a really good song. But uh, there's a part when it says she was with another man. Así dice, ¿verdad? Estaba con otro. ¿Verdad? Con... Yes. Ajá, pero yes. la vio en el, en el subway, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, uh, yes, I'm sorry. Julissa, hello, Julissa. Um, si estás por ahí, hi. Okay, creo que sí. Okay, uh, esta actividad la van a hacer uh, uno por uno, one by one. Una, una persona por cada clase, okay. Entonces a ti te tocaría. En la segunda semana. Después okay, de mí. Antes. antes. Después de Juan. Cuando escuchemos ahí la voz angelical de Juan. Y, de Juan, de Juan. y, de, y después de, de ti, Yulisa, va a ir Carla. Pero todo en el suelo, todo en la cama. Ajá, no, no, no. No, no entonces hay, hay el, el compañero que nos deleite. Oh, so beautiful, hombre. So beautiful. Bye. Ah. Bye. A ver cuánto lloran. La dupla, eh. Ok. Bueno, después lloramos, después de la clase. Ok, let's continue with this, my friends. Here we have speaking activity. So important. This is like a very... Uh, that's a question that can be applied in some other types of countries, especially developed countries. Quizás algunos países no están todos desarrollados. Couples should approve intelligent tests before they can have children. I consider that uh, this could be a very good question to apply it here in El Salvador. Deberían las, la, las parejas aprobar un test de inteligencia antes de que puedan tener hijos. When I say intelligence, I'm not talking about just mathematics. 
I'm talking about different types of intelligence, different types of intelligence, but ya sea emotional, ya sea kinesthetica, ya sea, pues, okay, even administration of the money, a lot of things, right? So if you agree or disagree, incluso pueden decir don't agree. Cuando dicen I agree, estoy de acuerdo. I disagree, no estoy de acuerdo. But why? Okay, so let's listen to some of you. Maybe we can start in this case with Mario and then we go with Fernando. Mario, are you ready with your answer? Yes, teacher. Okay, please, my friend, go. I think um, I'm agree, but the, the intelligence test um, make do young couples. Okay. For uh, yeah, because the the young people doesn't be prepared mm -hmm. and, and change her mm -hmm. life, no change their life. Okay, very good point, Mario. Young people are not ready. Okay, when we say young people, maybe adolescents, quizás estamos hablando de los adolescentes, right, Mario? Yes, teacher. So, okay, so in that case, Mario says that they can have some limitations. So why not a test for them? Thank you, Mario. Good point. Okay, we go with Fernando and then we go with Juan. Fernando, are you ready? Okay. If not, we're going to wait a little bit. Okay, we go with Juan and then we go with Carla. Okay, one moment. No problem. Take your time. Okay, teacher. This uh, not necessary and long, and they are adult. Yes. Okay. Not necessary if they are adults. Okay, that's your yes. opinion, right? Mm -hmm. It's similar to 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 Mario because that depends on the age. Depends on the age, right? Depends on okay. the age, maybe they yes. can have, it's like a parameter, es un parámetro, the age, right? Good, thank you. Very okay. nice one. Okay, let's listen to Carla and then we go with um, Oscar. Okay. I agree, but uh, in some different ways. Okay. First, uh, for healthy of a children. Maybe they can prevent a disease, eh, como eh, darlo al bebé, no sé cómo yeah. In, uh, uh, inherited. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, psychological way to, uh, yeah. do you see uh, on the TV some cases that uh, there are some children abandoned Mm -hmm. killed. Or living on streets, okay. Or and, living on the streets without food, without a house or nothing, without education, some um, rights, you know. And maybe uh, too, because we don't never be prepared to have a children. We we are learning every day, but uh, this is a decision that we have to to realize, mm -hmm. to um, reflect. Okay. Yes. Definitely. A, a very important point is that um, healthy. It means that we are not just because uh, our body feels good, but our mental health, salud mental. And maybe there are people that they have, could they have the resources? They have 
kind of yes they have good salaries but their mental health are not suitable no son adecuadas to have kids and we can have a lot of cases okay and that's it thank you I know that some of the questions that I'm going to send you, you will need more time to express it. Van a necesitar un poquito más de tiempo para expresar sus ideas, but we have to do it. Y esa pregunta it. responde por qué no tengo hijos. Gracias. Maybe in the future, or, or maybe, maybe because I'm young. in December. Maybe. Because I don't, I don't have money. <laughs> okay, but you... That is like relative, that depends, but <laughs> yeah. but good point because if you notice this generation is different from the previous one, not in not talking in general terms, but most of them they they prevent. And one of the limitations that, that this generation has is the money. Mm -hmm. We prefer <laughs> have pet. Yeah, this generation, yes, it, it, it's part of the reality. Mm -hmm. Well, but that's a decision of everyone. Okay, depends. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Carly. Thank you, Carly. Okay. Y después la vamos viendo con unos cinco niños. Okay. okay, Oscar, you go and then we go with Elia. Okay, uh, I, I agree. Be prepared, I say. Uh, a children uh, in ed education for future. Mm -hmm. Yes, very nice. And it is good to prepare kids for the future. Yes, and that could be a very good way mm -hmm. to to set the basis para como establecer las bases. Okay, so thank you, Oscar. Yeah. And here we have Elia and then Abel. Delia, are you ready? Um, a green um, and now um, responsibly um, um, como muy joven. Too young. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y um, creo um, que um, no este no tienen como la madurez quizás sí. yes the mature they are not mature no son maduros yes they are not or immature mm -hmm. and that happens with uh, adolescents sometimes when they are teenagers cuando están muy chicos okay. So thank you, Elia. Very nice. And we go now with Abel. And after Abel, we go with Kevin. Abel, okay. are you ready? Please. I think I think depends on the, uh, the status. Um, Yes, the oh, stages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the situation mm -hmm, of every couple, right? También de, de, de cada pareja. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. of yes. Okay, good. Yes, okay. and that's it. And for example, uh, depends of how many kids how many children a couple wants to have? ¿Cuántos niños quiere tener? And what about the possibilities? Not talking about just the money, but the time. Uh, the okay. time for the kids. And there are some different factors which it's have... Good. It's good, sir. How do you say it? Mm -hmm. Economic. Economical. Stability. Or stability. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, yes. All those aspects to take into account. Mm -hmm. para en cuenta. Thank you, Abel. Very nice. I don't know if Kevin is ready. He's, if not, we go with Mirna. Um, I, I worry your December responsibility. Okay, yes. I guess it's part uh, to be responsible. Mm -hmm. responsible. To to know what or to have 
specific objectives in your life. Not to say whatever God wants, todo lo que Dios quiera. No, it's very important to list your objectives in life, okay? Thank you. And here we have also Mirna, Janet, and then Marvin. And the server. Okay. Because, uh, because it's discrimination for the people. Okay, you consider it's discrimination. Okay, could it be? Could it be? Um, it is good to have inclusion and it is good to have different opinions, right? About this, because uh, and that's something that happens that a lot of couples, they can't have babies as well because of the biology, because of the anatomy of, of the man or of the woman, okay? And that's another big problem. I don't know if you have noticed, creo que lo han notado. Nowadays, cuando digo, ahora en día, nowadays is very common that a lot of couples can't have babies. Muchas parejas no pueden tener bebés. And that's, that, that, that's something Difficult for them as well. Okay, thank you, uh, Janet. Thank you for your opinion. Marvin, are you there? Yeah. Okay, my friend, please. I agree because baby is a big question. So you have to know if you can be responsible if you're to have a child. But we are focusing the younger couple that we have to remember the older couple maybe can will have a child so in this case um depends okay yes in this case like yes depends and as some of you are saying what matters lo que importa what matters is the kids right the future because they are not guilty no you know son culpables they are not guilty about what is going to happen, what is going on, they don't ask for, yes, for being alive, eh? they don't know, but we as adults, we are responsible for them, and so, thank you for your opinions, we're going to continue later, but if you notice, all of your opinions are important, todos sus opiniones son importantes, remember that we have different points of view, you have different philosophy of life because you have read, you have read, you have seen videos, you have seen different situations and hard situations, really hard. So, well, we're going to continue and, and we're going to do something. In this case, okay, you are not listening, but my neighborhood, was listening reggaeton and now he's listening temerarios. Wow. That's a big that's a big change. Es un gran cambio. Okay. So well. Okay. Solo que no se escucha para que no le bajen la clase, teacher. Ah, no, pues sí, sí, no. Aquí lo voy a dejar un rato y me voy para allá. Okay. Uh, we're going to have we're going to have a free conversation. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. I'm going to give you like five minutes. And what are you going to do? ¿Y qué van a hacer en esos cinco minutos? Pónganse de acuerdo en qué preguntas se van a hacer. Ustedes van a tener una conversación aquí en vivo, ¿verdad? Con todos. Por ejemplo, se va eh, Oscar con Janet. Y se ponen de acuerdo. Ok, Janet, yo te digo hi. Luego tú me dices hello. Eh, luego te pregunto, what's your favorite color? Y tú me dices, ah, my favorite color is green. Y así, pónganse de acuerdo. Porque a veces, cuando les pongo esta actividad, algunos empiezan a hablar en inglés y hablar y hablar. Y cuando ya van acá, no anotan nada. Entonces, ay, teacher, yo hablé con él en inglés, con ella, pero no me acuerdo de nada. Así que eh, le doy un par de minutos, pónganse de acuerdo qué preguntas se van a hacer. Eh, puede, por ejemplo, what's your common routine, una rutina común entre la semana puede ser fácil, preguntas fáciles, por ejemplo, what's your name what's your favorite food ok, what do you do in your free time, 
cualquier cosa. O pueden preguntarse, eh, tell me about your job, cuéntame sobre tu trabajo, tell me about yourself, cuéntame sobre ti, tell me about your family. De cualquier cosa pueden hablar de lo que sea. Tomen nota, no todo, ¿verdad? Pero tomen nota de qué preguntas se van a hacer acá. La conversación debe durar por lo menos de 30 a 45 segundos por cada pareja, ¿ok? Va a ser corta. But what I need you to do is to practice fluency. Lo que necesito es que practiquen fluidez, ¿ok? Eh, si gustan, en, les voy a, denme un minuto mientras eh, organizo las parejas y necesito... Necesito que desde ya empiecen a ver qué le voy a preguntar y todo eso. Ok, voy a organizar las parejas. Give me a second. Ok, my friends, los veo un momento. See you in a moment. Alexandra, ¿puedes escucharme? Buenas noches, teacher. Buenas noches. ¿Ya estás en casa? ¿Todo bien? Ya, gracias a Dios, teacher. Ok. Bueno, necesitar que aceptes la solicitud, ¿ok? ¿Sí ok. la indicación? No problem. Eh, sí, eh, realizar una conversación de 35 o 45 segundos. Yes, that's it. Mm, compañero. Mm? Hey, very nice. Okay. Good.
Eh, teacher. A ver, ¿y con quién estabas? A ver. Estaba con Julissa, pero me he trasladado solo. No. Permitime, Julissa, a ver. Oh, no, no. Permitime, déjame ver acá. Dame un momento, ahorita ve. Hola, teacher. Hola, hola, ¿todo bien? Mm, sí. Eh, una consulta, Kevin solo está de oyente, ¿verdad? Eh, creo que sí, pero con Fernando puedes trabajar una conversación súper corta. ¿verdad? Vaya, chévere, solo no sé qué tuvo que hacer, ahorita esperándolo estoy aquí okay. para ponernos de acuerdo. Ok, perfecto. Yeah, yeah I'm here, I'm here. Excellent. Some problem with my internet, but I'm here, I'm here. Perfect. Oh. Hola, Yulisa, hello. Hello, teacher. No sé qué le pasó al chico que estaba conmigo. No, ahorita veo. Permítame. Ahorita estoy viendo eso. Que me acepte la solicitud de cambio de grupo. No sé si tuvo problemas de conexión. Mm. Yo le voy a decir que, que, que se venga para acá. ¿Ok? Ok. Yo. Hey, a ver. Hello. Eso. Ok. Perfect. That's good. Ok, my friends, creo que se emocionaron demasiado, too much, ok, but here we have this, antes que vayamos a lo de la conversation, Necesito que me den su opinión con respecto a este tema y luego vamos con las conversations y terminamos la clase, ¿verdad? Así que, este, a ver si Gisela, ready for this. 
para la pregunta, couples should approve intelligence tests before they can have children. Agree or disagree? ¿Estamos listos? Aquí estoy. <laughs> eh, agree. Ok. Eh, pero... Eh, no sé cómo decirlo. Eh, quizás más que preparado mentally and every more economic, economically. Economically, ok. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, because a child doesn't live alone. <laughs> Yes, love is not enough. El amor no es suficiente. Love is not enough. Yes, I, I have a daughter. And, mm -hmm. and, pues <laughs> okay. Yes, I know it is difficult. It's not so easy to have kids. Yes. Thank you, Gisela. Okay. Mientras seguimos con esto, los demás preparen bien, ¿verdad? Lo que va, lo de la conversation, ¿verdad? Ve, revisen ahí las la respuestas que van a dar y continuamos con César. Are you ready with? For this, and then we go with Douglas. Eh, bueno, yo iba con Juancito. No, no, I mean the ah, speaking activity. La actividad de speaking, eh, donde dice las parejas deberían probar un test de inteligencia antes de tener niños. Ah, no sé. <laughs> sí. Eh, well, necesitas tiempo. It's, it's necessary. It's okay. necessary for for um, the people um, um, que no sabe a veces lo que quiere y se me pone okay <laughs> they no no they don't have clear objectives in life right maybe okay thank you douglas what about you and then flor uh, yo estaba con noé no, eh, ahorita estamos viendo lo del speaking activity y después vamos con lo de la conversation. Ok, Douglas. Ok, si no estás listo, entonces vamos okay. con... Eh, Flor, and then... Fátima. Ok, Flor. Ok, in my opinion, I disagree. Ok. Because each of us know the intelligence of the person should be used in other situations. Okay. Yes. Uh, like everybody knows his or, well, their capacities. Mm -hmm. uh, that's another good point. Thank you, Flor. Very nice. I don't know if Fatima is ready. If not, we go with Noe. Agree. Okay, agree. Por la situación financiera. Yes, financial situation. Financial situation. Okay, because of the financial situation. Yes, that's that's very complicated, right? Thank you. What about Noé? Are you ready, Noé? And then I, Adriana. I agree. Okay, agree. Because it's a very important decision in life. Okay. Yes, a very important decision in life. It's not so easy. It's not that... It's not just like, I want to buy a TV. I want to buy a computer, a cell phone. No, it's a life, right? Full point. What about Adriana and then Alexandra? Adriana, are you ready? Well, if Adriana is not ready, let's listen to Alexandra. Are you okay with your answer? I, this, como se dice, no estoy de acuerdo. I disagree. I disagree mm -hmm. since uh, the IQ of a uh, bank is not necessarily true. And intelling test be, um, in, o sea, siento que no una inteligencia, la, medir la inteligencia. No, el IQ, yo así lo, lo, lo manejo, el IQ de una persona en, en la línea. Ah. Ascendente, no, o sea, eso está como que un poco paradójico para mí, ¿verdad? Ok, baby. Lo, mm -hmm. lo, yes. que sí, lo que sí siento, eh, quizás en lo que sí estoy de acuerdo, I agree, eh, 
es en que quizás a las personas, ¿verdad? Que sí, que están decidiendo tener un hijo o formar una familia, pues, que quizás a ellos sí, pero test de inteligencia emocional, eh, socioeconómicas, para ver si están aptos para darles la capacidad de, de desarrollarse y económica también, porque, o sea, las dos cosas van de la, de la, de la, de la mano, porque de amor no okay. se vive. Yeah, that's it. Very nice. Thank you. Very good opinion. And remember, all your opinions are important for me. I guess we need all your opinions and points of view. Thank you. And now let's move to conversations. Vamos a las conversaciones y vamos a ver si te logramos terminar con estos, ¿ok? 30 segundos. Tratamos de hacer el 30 segundos un tanto fluido. We're going to start in this case with Abel. Abel, who was your classmate or your partner? Uh, with Julissa. Okay. I don't know if you have, tienen un poco de la conversation. Sé que tuvieron poco tiempo, but. Algo. Okay. Muy poco. <laughs> Importa. Vamos, showtime. Okay. Hi, Julissa. What is your, perdón. Hi, Julissa. What is your name? Uh, hi, my name is Julissa. What Where... is your last name? What? What is your last name? Last name. My last name is Villalta. Okay. Where are you from? I am from San Salvador. No. Where... Mm -hmm. Okay. What time do you visit your grandmother, Julissa? Repeat the question, please. In what time did you visit your grandmother? In qué tiempo visitas tu abuela? Okay. And the visit every day, my grandmother. Okay, very nice. I guess we're going to finish on this letter. Thank you. Very good. Let's listen now to Alexandra, who was your classmate. Eh, Fernando, creo que se llama. Okay, Fernando. Yes, yes. Okay, please. <laughs> si tienen 20 segundos, no problem. Let's do it. Okay. 30 seconds. Uh, okay. Well, what's your name? My name is Alexandra. What's your name? Hey, my name is Fernando. Glad to meet you. And tell me, how was your day? My day was good a little tired. And you? Okay, well, my day it was so exhausted because uh, I was working hard today. And tell me, what do you do? I am um, a um, eh, teacher, no sé cómo se dice eso. Yo eh, estoy en un banco <ríe> cobrando cuentas. No sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Uh, financial agent, agent ¿verdad? ¿La gente financiero? Financial sí, agent. agent. No, así yo soy la que cobra, ¿ok? <ríe> financial <Okay>. agent. <ríe> financial <ríe> agent. <ríe> eh, me lo repite, por favor. Financial agent. Fine. Fin, financial. Financial. Finite. Agent. Uh, mm -hmm. Financial agent. Okay, agent. good. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Wow, wow it's so yeah. interesting. But, yeah. Thank you, Fernando and Alexandra. Very nice. Now let's move with um, Cesar. Who was your classmate? El mero Juancito. Okay, <laughs> eh, con el mero Johnny. Okay, Juan. Okay. 
Listo, César. Okay. El micrófono está eso. Ok, showtime. Ya, yeah, hoy sí. Yes. Hi Juan, nice to meet you. Hi César, nice to meet you too. Who are you in your work, in your job? I'm fine. Me well inventing. How are you working? Very busy, but I am fine because I like that I do. I really. Okay. And what is your favorite hobby? Uh, my favorite hobby is watching TV in the night. And you? I have uh, many hobbies, but that's one I like the most are go to surfing, go cycling, and walk in mountain or volcanoes. Volcano. 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 Multitask, Cesar. Yes. Yes. Okay, <laughs> teacher. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Oh, very good because even you presented the conversation. Thanks. Okay, nice. And the last couple tomorrow, uh, well, tomorrow, I'm sorry. On Monday, we're going to continue with this conversation. Nadia va a estar conectado mañana. Okay, but yes, on Monday, we're going to do it. And the last couple would be. Uh, Douglas, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. What about your classmate? Who was it? Uh, no. No, eh. no eh. Okay, please. Showtime. Okay. okay. Hi, good evening. What's your name? Good evening. My name is Vladi Blanco. And you? Nice to meet you, no, eh. My name is Douglas Sanchez. What, uh, I have a question for you. What is your favorite hobby? I like watch TV. How about you? I like play soccer. Okay. What do, I, do you play soccer? I play soccer on Sunday in my free time. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, very good. Thank, Thank you for you. the information. Okay, very good. Thank you. Vamos a continuar eh, el lunes. Eh, quiero darles tres tips. Tres tips. Primero, este, hay que... Hay que estar pendiente con las indicaciones que doy, ¿verdad? Si en algún dado caso no me doy a entender o como que hay algo como que teacher no lo entiendo, solo dígame, teacher, podría explicarlo nuevo y todo, con gusto, estoy para apoyarles, ¿verdad? Eh, segundo, intenten, suéltense. Si no lo pronuncian bien, don't care about it. Lo importante es que ustedes, bueno, ya lo han hecho la mayoría de ustedes, pero hay otras que quizás tienen un poquito de miedo, pena, pero veo que están intentando, excelente, continúen así. Hay palabras que vamos a ir mejorando, por ejemplo, algunos tienen una gran fluidez, otros estamos empezando a tener una mejor fluidez, pero he escuchado que a veces algunos dicen my name, y está bien, porque se dice my name, con M, my name is, ¿verdad? But it's okay. We are learning. Estamos aprendiendo. Yo estoy identificando qué palabras tienen, tenemos que mejorar cada quien. Así que inténtenlo. Y tercero, cuando sean speaking activities, traten de tener un par de apuntes o tengan ideas. Eso se le llama outline. El outline son las ideas centrales. Ah, yo voy a hablar de dos cosas. Estoy de acuerdo por dos cosas. Estoy, no estoy de acuerdo. O mi opinión se refiere a dos, tres cosas. Y así su opinión es más concreta y no importa si su opinión dura 10 segundos. No problem. Pero si está bien eh, como que establecida, es como que tiene más fundamento y como que mm, me, ya me convenció. Sí, se lo compro, ¿ok? So be ready with the speaking activity porque es una oportunidad para que ustedes hablen. This class, it's about you speaking English. Not just me, you. Se trata de que ustedes hablen, ¿ok? Y eso ayuda, that helps because you're going to use more a new vocabulary. Van a usar nuevo vocabulario. Y eso es lo que necesito. Ok, my friends. I'm going to check the attendances and we say goodbye. Me voy a quedar ahora con Alexandra. Así que rápidamente vamos con la asistencia. Abel, hello. Present teacher. 
Thank you, Alexandra and Brenda. Present teacher. Thank you, Brenda and Cesar. Okay, Cesar and Douglas. Present. Thank you, Cesar, Douglas and Elia. Okay, Elia and Fatima. Thank you. Thank you. Fatima and Fernando. Good night, teacher. Good night, Fernando Thank and Flor. You. Thank you, Flor and Gisela. Present. Good night. Good, Good night, Gisela and Juan. Present, teacher. Thank you. Present, Juan. teacher. Thank you, Good Juan. Good night. Goodbye. Good night, Julissa and Carla. Present teacher. Thank you. And Marvin and Mirna. Present teacher. Good one. Thank you. Oscar and Kevin. Nice. Present teacher. Good okay. night, everybody. Good night, Mario and Noé. Here I am, teacher. Perfect. Present. Thank you, Adriana. Okay, my friends. Bye bye. See you on Monday. Bye bye. Bye. Laura, es que, bueno, aquí te anoto, que te había hablado para las actividades, pero como creo que te conectaste después, pero ahorita te anoto, ¿ok? No Igual en el principio participé en la primera actividad, bueno, De no verdad. sé si era la primera. Sí. Uh -huh. De la misión, ahorita te anoto. Thank you. Ok, bye gracias. Bye. Welcome. Ok, Alexandra. ¿Estás por ahí? Hola, teacher. Ok, vamos a hacer algo. Um, sí, dígame. Eh, bueno, hay dos opciones. ¿Quieres uh -huh. hablar de algún tema que se te dificulte o quieres un repaso o quieres que te haga una entrevista básica en inglés? Depende de ti. Mm, quizás el repaso de la clase, teacher, porque al final si estoy bien, tengo que mejorar mucho. Yo sé, o sea, no le entendería más que no, no sería. Sí me ayudaría, pero no. Así que no me siento lista todavía para que me entreviste. La verdad que es una entrevista básica, pero no hay problema. Te escucho que tenés una cierta fluidez. You are okay. Hay que reforzar ciertas cosas, ¿verdad? Pero pero como todo, eh, Alexandra, así que, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Solo que, bien, vimos al inicio de la clase. Uh -huh. Eso lo viste. No, no lo viste, ¿verdad? Ways to say, make, and do. Eh, make significa hacer y do significa hacer también. Solo que las frases eh, se utilizan, algunas con make y otras frases se utilizan con do. Por ejemplo, make a phone call. Make a decision, make a mistake, make a promise, make mm -hmm. dinner. And we do, we use uh, do the dishes, do the laundry, do a favor, do your best, do nothing. Okay. Eh, una pregunta, vaya, yeah. yo utilizo bastante el, las, el, el make por, por mi trabajo cuando nos, en el, en el módulo pasado. Make calls, uh, make uh, emails, uh, make, make appointments. Mm -hmm. Ajá, esa así la utilizaba, pero este do lo utilizo más para, o sea, no entiendo la diferencia del make y el do, porque al final son cosas bien no similares tan y confusas. Similar. Ajá. Sí, porque la diferencia. Sea, ok. Sería, uh, do read um, o oh, no pero quiero ver yo es que quiero ver cómo sería escribo sería I do write write uh -huh. Uh -huh. así sería y tendría que ocupar el make o el do no para no decir no que yo estoy escribiendo uh -huh. okay okay estas uh -huh. son son frases pero no vas a utilizar el do en las oraciones a menos que sea una pregunta por ejemplo do you work no. on Saturday Do you like chocolate? Ahora, en este no. caso, eh, se utiliza, son como te digo, esto lo doy siempre a inicio de toda, de toda clase. Siempre uh -huh. doy vocabulario nuevo. No sé si te has dado cuenta. El vocabulario uh -huh. nuevo puede ser usado en la clase o puede que no, pero a ustedes les va a servir. Ejemplo, uh -huh. no decís 
I do a phone call. This is, mm, I need to make a phone call. Necesito mm -hmm. hacer una llamada. Cuando le decís, let's make a promise. Vamos a hacer una promesa. Ok, ahora, si tú quieres decir, yo escribo una carta, simplemente dices, I write a letter. Mm -hmm. Y el do no lo vas a utilizar, ni el make. Estas solo son frases, son make it do para esas frases. No mm -hmm. para el inglés. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ya, ya entendí. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ejemplo, estoy hablando frases para pedir la cuenta. Ok, eh, please the check, the bill, uh -huh. I want to pay y toda eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, ok. Ahora, eh, lo que vimos acá fue esta conversation. Uh -huh. eh, no sé si la viste un poco. Si quieres, la practicamos. Ok. Y la terminamos. Ok, eh, yo soy Mario, vos eres. Ok. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I that is a great idea to remember we why we are different from other compa com companies. Companies. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I mean we no uh, we know innovation we know innovation efficient and respect so be part of our customer service i see your point we know about the values of the company but maybe we don't apply them exactly uh, we should leave the values that make us different from other companies. Muy bien. Eh, solo vamos a reforzar esto, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. Esta es I, idea. Idea. Mm -hmm. Yo sé que estas son palabras que se parecen a español en, en, con el tema de la escritura. Mm -hmm. o el significado sí es diferente. So, idea, aquí se dice why. Luego yeah. tenemos efficiency. Y tenemos acá Excellent. que es should. Esta palabra es bien importante. La pronunciamos así. Should. Should. Should que debería. We should live the values. Deberíamos vivir los valores que nos hacen, bla, bla, bla. Entonces, mm -hmm. should. ¿Ok? Yes. Should. Mm -hmm. yes. Ajá. Ok. Uh, did, idea, why, efficiency. 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 ¿Oíste? Efficiency. Mm -hmm. sí. Fíjate Efficiency. que yo normalmente cuando, antes, cuando sí. encontraba una palabra que yo no entendía su pronunciación, yo la anotaba así como lo estoy haciendo, pero lo anotaba entre paréntesis o entre, entre líneas mm -hmm. o ponía de otro color. Obviamente solo es para aprenderte la pronunciación, no es que se escriba así. Podría Fíjese ser. que eso estoy haciendo, escribo la palabra y a la par, con un asterisquito, pongo la manera en que, en que mm -hmm. me... lo dicen, yes. o sea, de la manera como decirlo, y ya ahí ya voy como practicando y quizás mejorando un poquito, pero a veces eh, se me olvida y tengo la maña de a veces... Eh, cambiar las letras, pero ese ya, ya es problema de fábrica, creo que cambio así las letras de, de lugar y ya lo leo de una manera diferente. Sí, Cuando yo, el día no, uh -huh. no es así, ¿verdad? Pero ese ya, ya es un errorcito que tengo. Y, 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 y te voy a explicar por qué, Alexandra, y con eso terminamos. Uh -huh. La primera palabra aquí es feed, la segunda uh -huh. es breed y la tercera es feel. Esas tres palabras tienen algo que se llama un patrón. El patrón no es un jefe, sino que aquí el patrón uh -huh. es algo que se repite y es uh -huh. la letra I. Feed, breathe, feel. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. Cuando tú veas esta otra palabra, ¿cómo la vas a pronunciar? Feel. 
P I L. Exacto, sí. peel, te das cuenta. Entonces, para eso sirve que nosotros vayamos anotando la pronunciación, porque cuando vas a llegar a un punto, que me gustaría que fuera después de este curso o al final de este curso, que vas a entender la lógica de la pronunciación de, de, acuerdo, de acuerdo a algunos patrones, y vas a encontrar palabras que vos ni sabes qué significan, pero las sabes pronunciar. ¿Ok? Sí. Uh -huh. Ese es el punto, dice Alexandra. Tener buena pronunciación. Solo necesitas algunos detallitos, ¿ok? Y Gracias. Alexandra, hay que preparar las speaking activities, ¿ok? Eh, una consulta, fíjese que a mí eso me gusta adelantarlo porque en realidad yo trabajo de 8 a 6. Me y imagino. Vivo y vivo bien lejos. Entonces claro, claro. yo lo que hago, con lo poquito que se vea, y voy avanzando y a veces casi que termino en un fin de semana, la mitad de lo que se avanza. No sé si está bien o usted quiere que vaya a trabajar. No, 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 no. Semana por semana. Eso, eso está perfecto, como lo estás haciendo. A lo que me mm -hmm. refiero es que en la mañana yo envío speaking activities, que son mm -hmm. las preguntas para la clase. Mm -hmm. Pero la de ayer y la de ahora era la misma pregunta. Era la misma, pero me la contestaste en español. Ajá, ajá. Eso es porque tu punto estaba muy bien. A mí me gustó. Gracias. Pero, pero no sé si me voy a entender. Sí, en realidad la participación era en inglés, no en español. Claro, y estaba muy bien tu punto. Fíjate que estaba bien justificado. Pero si sí, en lo inglés, tuve que haber hecho en inglés. Hubi hubiese estado 10 de 10. Ok, Alexandra, creo que va okay. muy bien. Vas a avanzar bastante en este curso, te lo aseguro. Gracias, teacher. Ok, te me cuidas. Nos vemos lunes. Igual, feliz Bye. fin de semana. Buenas noches. Bye. Adiós.